Hello everyone, I am Juliet and you're joining me today at Spoilt Rotten Beads where I am going to show you an absolutely stunning bracelet. It is called Filigree and it was designed for us by Lauren who a lot of you will know. Lauren works in the shop on a Saturday and she also packs a lot of your internet orders and Lauren designed this beautiful bracelet for us. It's called Filigree and it's available on the website as a limited edition kit and also as a free pattern download. So head over to the website www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk, grab one of those limited edition kits if you can. If not, then don't worry, you can just download that free pattern. That will be available forevermore and it's completely free and quick to download. So, uh, so you'll be able to make this from the beads in your stash or of course, grab all of the beads and supplies that you need to make this beautiful bracelet from our website. It's called filigree because it's got this beautiful lacy effect to it and then we've got it in these two lovely colorways, this beautiful navy and muscat color and then this opulent pink which is gorgeous and both of them have little tiny three millimeter crystals on the sides of the pieces which really catch the light and sparkle. It's a very, very pretty design. It's really easy to make as well. I think you could have some fun playing around with this as well and try joining up the units together um, to make yourself a cuff style bracelet. So if you can imagine both of these bracelets here, if they were both in the same colorway and you join them together down the middle there, you can see how you could create a beautiful cuff style bracelet as well. That would be really, really pretty too. Um, so do have some fun playing around with it and share your makes with us over on our Facebook page and our Instagram and our Twitter because we do love to see what you guys have been up to. And, uh, and as I say, um, download that free pattern. And if you are watching this video from outside of the United Kingdom, then don't worry because we will ship to you all over the world so you can buy all of your supplies um, over on the website www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful filigree bracelets. They're really delicate and very fluid to wear actually. Really, really pretty. As I say, it was designed for us by the lovely Lauren, who works in the shop here at Spoilt Rotten Beads on Saturdays and who also packs internet orders during the week as well. It's a very, very simple design, really pretty. And you could actually, if you wanted to, um, layer them up and stack them this way, the units on this to make a much wider cuff, which I think will be really, really pretty. I'll talk to you a little bit about that later on as I make the, the bracelet. So to make one of these filigree bracelets, you will need the following. You'll need some six millimeter Preciosa glass pearls. You'll need some super duo beads, and I'm using this beautiful light rose slipperet color here for my pink colorway. You'll need some size 11 seed beads, and for the pink colorway that I'm doing, I'm using two different colors of pink. I've got, uh, sorry, two different colors of size 11 seed beads. So I've got this lovely pink here, which is called Silver Lined Transparent Raspberry. And then I am going to be using a galvanized muscat as well um, in my size 11. Um, and you'll see that in this one, um, Lauren has just used one color of size 11. So you can use one color or two color, but because of the other colorways I've chosen with my beads, I feel that it, it adds something to add this extra colorway here. You'll also need some size 15 seed beads. And again, I'm using that galvanized muscat colorway and you will need some three millimeter crystals and i'm using these beautiful czech crystals here in a three millimeter size okay so the first thing you need to do is to thread your needle up with around about half a meter of thread and you'll need a size 10 beading needle will be absolutely fine so the first thing that you need to do is thread on eight super duos with one of your size 11s in the main color in between each one so you need a total of eight so i'm picking up one super duo one size 11 one super duo one size 11 etc until i've got a total of eight super duos and eight size 11 seed beads there There we go. You see where I am? I've got two, four, six, seven. 
and that will be eight. And I just need one more size 11 seed bead there. Okay, take this down towards the tail of my thread. Let you guys take a look at that. There you go, there's my eight super duos with my eight size 11 seed beads. And then what you need to do is to go back through all eight beads right from the start so that you bring the whole thing around into a circle. So I am gonna hold my work steady like so and go through all eight super duos and all eight size 11 seed beads there. That last little size 11 does not want me to go through it again, there we go. So I'm going back through all eight beads. And what I'm gonna do now is pull it all around into a circle. So as I pull my work around now, it will all come around into a circle, like so. So I'll keep pulling, there we go. That's that circle beginning to close up there. And what I'm gonna do now is I've left a little tail of thread here, and I'm gonna knot my, working, my tail to my working thread like so, and that will just tighten up the circle there. There we are. And I'm gonna tie a double knot now just to make sure that's 100% secure. So this is my tail, and I'm just gonna double knot that around my working thread and pull that knot tight, and it will just slip down there in between my two beads, like so. And I'm just gonna stitch through now that next size 11 seed bead in the circle. I'm stitching through that next size 11. And that pulls that knot inside the size 11. And what I'm gonna do now is add on my six millimeter pearl. So I'm picking up a six mil pearl and I'm gonna go through the seed bead that is directly opposite the seed bead that I am exiting. So I'm just going through the seed bead, nothing else. So that's the seed bead in, on the opposite side to the one that I'm exiting. And as I pull this tight now, my pearl will sit across my circle, like so. And what I'm gonna do now is go back through that pearl again. And then back through the other side of that seed bead and through the next super duo in the pattern. Let's get my tail of thread out of the way there. And there we go. It looks like a little flower at this stage. I'm just gonna trim off my tail of thread because it's getting in my way at the moment. There we go. Now that's out of the way, it'll be a little bit easier. Now what I'm gonna do is step up through the empty hole in that super duo that I'm exiting. And using my same main color of size 11 seed beads, I'm gonna put two size 11 seed beads in between each super duo, like so. So that's two size 11 seed beads in between each super duo. And I'm gonna continue on around my circle and come back to you when I have done that. Okay, so I've gone all the way around my circle, added my two size 11 seed beads in between each of my super duos. And I'm now exiting from the first super duo, sorry, first seed bead that I added in that row. So I've got, those are my first two seed beads and I'm exiting from the, just the first one. And now I'm gonna pick up a size 11 seed bead in my accent color. And I'm gonna go through the next seed bead, super duo seed bead. Like so. Pull that tight. 
and the effect that that has is it makes that accent seed bead size 11 seed bead just stick up slightly away from the other two and it gives you that pretty sort of filigree lacy effect that we're going for with this bracelet so i'm going around now my whole circle adding one of my accent colors of size 11 seed beads in between each pair or each of the seed beads in the in the pairs I'll just let you guys take a look at that there for a moment so you can see what I'm doing. It will also be easy to see this in the downloadable pattern that you'll find over on our website. So I'm going to continue around my circle and then I'm going to come back to you when I've done that and I'm going to show you how to join your units together. Okay, so I've gone all the way around the circle and I'm exiting from that very first accent colour size 11 seed bead that I added. And I'm gonna show you how to join your units up together now. So here is another unit that I made earlier on. There we go, exactly the same. And we're gonna join these two units up together using the accent colors of the size 11, the accent size 11 seed beads. And we're just gonna do a little unit of right angle weave so I'm exiting from this size 11 accent bead here. I'm gonna pick up another size 11 accent bead and I'm gonna go through the size 11 accent bead on the second unit. And pull my work together, you'll see it looks like that. I'm now going to repeat that, so I'm going to pick up another size 11 in my accent colour. And now I'm going to go back through that first size 11 bead that I was exiting. And if I pull this tight now, you'll see that it's joined my units together in that neat little right angle weave pattern there. And what I'm going to do is add some strength to this just by going through all four beads again, just to add some strength to the piece there. Going through all of my beads and actually I'm going to go now through, um, through these two size 11s here, through this size 11 super duo size 11 and through this size 11 here on the next unit there so that I can do another join right there. So I'll just work through those beads. There we go, nearly there. There we are. So now I'm going to be exiting from that size 11 there. I pulled it all tight. So what I can do is repeat that process. I'm exiting from this size 11, so I'm gonna pick up another size 11 in the accent color and go through the same size 11 on the other unit. And then pick up another size 11 and go through that unit there, that seed bead there on the first unit and pull it tight like so and you can see they're neatly joined together now and again I'm going to add some strength there by stitching through all four beads again to add a little bit of strength. And that is how you join the units together. I'm gonna to finish off this thread now um, so that uh, it's nice and secure. So to do that, I'm just gonna stitch through the next seed bead in my piece and hook down between two beads so that I get a loop and I can go through my loop, tie a half hitch knot and pull it tight. Do that again. There. 
and pull that knot inside a bead by stitching through the next couple of beads there. That pulls that knot inside a bead and I can then repeat that one more time because I like to make sure it's nice and secure. What I'm going to do now is keep making these units until I have got a total of nine units all joined together because nine units will make an average sort of seven, seven and a half inch long bracelet. <clears throat> so I'm going to come back to you when I've done that and I'll be able to then show you how to embellish them with the crystals and how to add the clasp as well. Make your own clasp using one of the pearls. Okay, so there are my nine units all joined up together. It's already looking really pretty, but now what we need to do is to embellish it with the crystals down the side, which does change the shape. So at the moment it all looks quite round, but you can see that when you add those crystals in, you get that sort of squared off effect to the piece. And also I want to show you how to make the, the, the little clasp as well using the pearl too. So what I've done is I've cut myself another length of beading thread, this time around about a metre long, and I'm going to go to one of my end units and just in between two of the seed beads on the end of the piece, I've just gone between two beads and I'm going to knot my new thread on. So I'm just tying a regular double knot there, let that knot fall between two seed beads, pull it inside the next couple of beads and then repeat that by going down between two seed beads, pulling through so that I've got a loop, going through that loop and pulling that loop, that knot then tight so that it sits between a couple more seed beads. So I'm going to repeat that again. So I've just hooked down between two seed beads, created a loop, gone through my loop and pulled tight like so. And what I'm going to do now is I have attached my thread, my new thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch through all of the beads on the outside of this unit and exit from this size 11 seed bead here. So I'm stitching through everything else. It's easy to show you on the video with the accent color. Um, because you can really see, hopefully, what I'm doing, where I am. So I am now exiting from this accent bead right here, this accent size 11, and we're gonna add in the crystals and the size, fi size 15 seed beads now. So I'm gonna pick up a size 15 seed bead, a crystal, and another size 15 seed bead. And then I'm gonna go through the size 11 seed bead in that right angle weave unit that joins the two units together. I'm just gonna take this up to the camera so hopefully you can see which bead I'm going through there. And as I pull now, you'll see those crystals and that size 15 seed beads and slot into place there like so. So there's my crystals and my size 15s. And so I'm now exiting from this size 11 seed bead here in the right angle weave unit that joins them together. And I'm gonna pick up another size 15 seed bead, another crystal and another size 15 seed bead. And then go through that size 15 seed bead, that accent bead on the next unit. And there's my crystals. 
So you can see that what I need to do now is to stitch through the next few beads so that I exit from this size 11 accent bead there on the unit that I'm working on. And just repeat that process. I'll show you one more time. So I'm now gonna exit from that size 11 seed bead. Pick up a 15, a crystal, and another 15. And go through, oh, drop my 15, that's no good. Go through that size 11 seed bead there on that right angle weave unit that joins the elements together and pull tight. And there's my crystals again. So I'm now gonna continue doing that all the way down the length of my bracelet. And when I get to the other end, I will be able to show you how to um, make your clasp. Okay, so I have gone all the way along one side of my bracelet and added in my crystals. It's starting to look really opulent. And when, what I want to do now is to show you how to make the clasp for the bracelet using one of the six millimeter pearls. So to do that, you need to be exiting from one of the size 11 accent beads on the end of your bracelet. And then you want to thread on six size 11 in your accent color, a six millimeter pearl and another size 11 seed bead. Then just go through the six millimeter pearl again. So I missed out the last seed bead and I'm just going through that six millimeter pearl there. And pull tight. And now you need to pick up six more of your size 11 seed beads in the accent color. Six more seed beads. And go through the size 11 accent bead below the one that you exited on that last unit. Pull tight and you can see that is now the, that's the, the uh, bar, I, I guess, for the little toggle clasp that we are going to create. So we're going to create a loop on the other end of the bracelet. If you want to, at this stage, you can just add a little bit of strength to this this part of the bracelet just by stitching back through your beads or one more time just to add some strength to the piece. And then what you need to do is go down the other side of the bracelet and mirroring the first side, add in those crystals. So I'm gonna come back to you when I've done that and then I'll be able to show you how to finish off by making that loop for the clasp. Okay, so I've reached the end of my bracelet here and I want to make this little clasp loop to finish off the bracelet. So to do that, I am exiting from one of my size 11 accent beads on the end of my bracelet. I've picked up two size 11 in the accent bead color, and then 19 size 15 seed beads. So I've got two size 11s and 19 size 15 seed beads. And I'm gonna go through just the second size 11 bead that I just added. <clears throat> Pull that through and you get a loop there. I can now pick up another size 11 seed bead and then go through the other accent size 11 seed bead on the end of my piece. And I've got my thread caught around my loop there. There we go. Pull it tight. And there we are. There is my clasp loop. And you can see I'm now just missing one set of crystals here. So I can finish that off with my last crystal there. And if I want to, I can add some more strength to the whole piece just by working my way back through the beads and going through everything in that clasp loop one more time just to make it all nice and secure. Um, and then I can finish off my thread. And there is my beautiful filigree bracelet in the lovely pink colorway, which is very opulent, as is the lovely navy as well. Both 
beautiful colorways. They are available as very limited edition kits over on our website. So do head over to the website and purchase your kit. Or if you're too late for a kit, then the pattern will be available as a free download on the site as well for as long as you like. Um, the website address again for you is www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.